Today's math strategy video is on understanding properties of shapes. So in today's lesson, we will compare shapes by grouping them by their properties. So first let's define a polygon because shapes will either fall under polygon or not a polygon. So a polygon is a closed figure with straight lines, meaning that they must connect. So a circle is not a polygon. Not a polygon. Because it has curved sides. So something that would be a polygon would be a triangle. Okay, so now let's look at some of the shapes that we have here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be grouping them by their types of angles and their sides. And so specifically, we're going to look at do they have right angles? And then do they have either four sides, less than four sides, or more than four sides? So let's look at this first shape right here. This looks like a, I believe, a rectangle because it does look like these two sides are shorter than the, two, the uh, side on top and on the bottom. So does this shape have no right angles, some right angles, or all right angles? Well, a rectangle has all right angles. So here's a right angle, here's a right angle, here's a right angle, and there. So it has four right angles. Okay, let's look at this. This is actually a parallelogram, and a parallelogram has no right angles. Okay, this shape right here, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a hexagon. A hexagon has no right angles also. Let me go ahead and put, um, put little labels beside this. Parallelogram, hexagon. There we go. Okay. Let's look at this. This is a trapezoid, and a trapezoid also, it does not have any, um, no, it has no right angles. Trapezoid. There we go. Okay. Look at this right here. How many sides does this have? One, two, three, four, five, five. So it's a pentagon. This pentagon has some right angles, but not all. So the right angles would be right here and right here. And this is a pentagon or a type of a pentagon. Right, and then last we have a triangle, and this triangle has, it has one right angle, which makes it a right triangle. And a rectangle, perfect. Okay, now let's look at um, comparing the shapes by how many sides they have. So once again, I have the rectangle. Rectangle has exactly four sides. And actually something that has exactly four sides is belongs to a family called quadrilaterals. And we will talk about these more in depth in the next lesson. But quadrilaterals have exactly four sides. So this rectangle, belongs to the quadrilateral family. Okay, let's take our parallelogram. A parallelogram also belongs to the quadrilateral family. Let's take our hexagon. Okay, so a hexagon obviously has more than four sides. So hexagon six sides. Okay, we're going to take our trapezoid. Our trapezoid also has four sides and it belongs to the family of quadrilaterals. We have a pentagon, which also pentagon is going to have um, more than four sides, so it has five sides. 
And then obviously what we have left is our triangle and a triangle does not belong to the family quadrilaterals because it's a triangle. Triangle has three sides. All triangles have three sides. So, okay, let's look at another example problem. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about these shapes that we have right here. And we're going to talk about the number of sides that they have, number of angles, and what the shape is. So this first one right here, this is going to be a square. And it has four sides. I can count them. And it has four angles. Now this next shape, I'm gonna to need to count. It has one, two, three, four, five, six. It has six. Six sides. And it also, I know that um, it's kind of hard to see them, but it does have six angles. So here's an angle, here's an angle, here's an angle. Here's one, here's one, but also this is an angle also. So it has six angles and it would be a hexagon. Okay, C, this would have one, two, three, four, five sides. So it has five angles and it is a pentagon. B, this is a triangle, so it has three sides, it has three angles, triangle. And then E is, has four sides, four angles, and it is a parallelogram. Now remember that the square and the parallelogram, they have four sides, so they belong to a family of quadrilaterals. And in the next video, we will talk in depth about this specific family. So something that I do notice here is that, ooh, let me move this back, is that it, the number of sides is the same as the number of angles. And those help determine what kind of family they belong in because all triangles have three sides and three angles. And then anything that is a quadrilateral will have four sides, four angles. That is the end of today's math strategy video.